Hi everyone, welcome to another video at basicgrade.com. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use textures that are available for purchase in the Basic Grade digital store. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to use the textures and also describe a couple of the different file formats that the textures can come in. Okay, um, I'm just going to show you how to create um, kind of more of an interesting background for your pages. That's mostly what the textures can be used for. So I have this texture right here. So this corner texture with the crown on it. And the fun part about this is you can kind of create your own pattern paper. So I'm going to click and drag over into my document. It just comes in as black. There are a couple different ways you can add color to this texture. The first way is to just come down to your color selector area. And I'm just going to, I'm going to eyedropper somewhere on the paper and then kind of drag it over to kind of a lighter color. We'll hit OK and then come up to Edit, Fill Layer, and I want it to be on a uh, foreground color and I want Preserve Transparency to be checked. We'll hit OK and it changes it to a nice pink color, really subtle texture. Okay, I'm going to hit Undo and show you another way you can do something similar to that. I have the lighter pink from the same collection. These papers are from the Fusion collection. I'll click and drag onto my document and then the keystroke for clipping clipping mask, which is Command G on a Mac or it will be Control G on a PC. And that just snaps that color from the pattern paper into the image below, which is the texture. So that's one another way to add color to your texture that you've added. Okay, another way you can add textures to your uh, layout is if the texture kit comes with ABR brush files for Photoshop. The reason why some don't have an ABR file is that Photoshop limits how large the brush file can be. It can only be 8 by 8 So if we have a larger texture in a kit, it can't be a brush file. So in that case, you would use um, the textures the way I've shown you just now. However, if you do have a brush file, you just have to love the brushes. After selecting your brush tool, you'll come up here to your to the top area to the drop down menu and we need to open up a, the new brush file. So we'll hit this arrow here and go to load brushes. Then you'll find your brush file, your ABR file and click on it and select load. Okay, now I've got the brush files up here. I'm going to go ahead and select, we'll do this one I think. Yeah, that one will work. Okay, and I've still got the pink color selected down here. So when I come in and, let's see, I'm going to have my background selected, and when I click over top, it puts that pink texture wherever I've sort of stamped the texture. So that's one way you can add texture to um, through a brush file. Okay, the, the other type of brush files that Basic Gray offers are layered textures and specifically with torn paper edges. So I'm going to show you uh, how to use those. Okay, so I've got this file here and this is from the Hang 10 collection and in order to use these you're going to select both layers. It's a white and a black layer and then you can drag it over into your document. I'm going to move these on top. And with my move tool, just move them to the bottom of the page wherever you'd like them. Okay, now we need to add the pattern paper in the black area. So I'm going to take the pink pattern paper and just click and drag over top. Okay, and then I can, you know, the black layer is right underneath, so I'll just hit Command G and it'll snap it into that area. I'll zoom in so you can see. All that did was add the pink pattern paper into the black area and then the white torn area is underneath. So it looks like it's some torn paper. Kind of a cool technique. So those are some different ways you can use textures from Basic Gray. Hope that helped you guys out and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.